Okay, today we're going to take a look at Arch Anywhere. If you've ever tried to install Arch, or you wanted to, but you got discouraged because it seems so complicated and confusing, Arch Anywhere is probably uh, the answer to your problems. First off, to get Arch Anywhere, you have to go to arch-anywhere.org forward slash download. It'll take you to this page here. You can download the torrent and down continue your download with the BitTorrent client or you can do a direct download by clicking here. Once you've downloaded it you can burn it to a CD, burn off the CD or you can get a utility like UNet boot in if you're in Windows and uh, burn it to a USB drive and then you can boot off your USB drive or if you're in Linux just use the DD command. Okay, I've already downloaded this and we'll go through an install in VirtualBox and uh, show you how simple this can be. This is the screen you get. Just uh, hit enter here to boot the Arch Linux. We'll go enter. And it'll boot up. I'm going to go on full screen for this so that you can uh, have a better idea what it'll look like if you're booting front on your computer. Okay. Still booting up. Uh, and we should be almost there. Okay. Once you're here, you can either update the uh, the installer, but I've done this not too long ago. I'll just hit the number one for the Arch Anywhere install, and it takes us to this uh, console. Here you would select the language you want for your install uh, installer. Keep it in English. Would I like to begin the install process? Yes. Hit enter. Okay, country code. I'm in Canada. I will go down to CA and hit enter. That's going to retrieve the uh, mirrors. It'll rank the mirrors to get the, the closest one, the fastest one for where I am. Okay, my key map. I am using a US keyboard, so I'll just leave it on US and hit enter. The locale. I'm in Canada. I'll use the Canadian locale. Okay. Okay, for my time zone, go to America, enter, hit on the T to get to Toronto since I'm in Eastern Canada. Toronto. Okay, here if you're in Windows, you'd go to the manu ma manual partition drive so you can keep your, your uh, Windows partition. You'd shrink it down and make a new partition for uh, your Arch install but since I'm in VirtualBox I'll just go to the auto partition and hit enter that is my drive SDA yes hit enter choose your file system ext4 is the default in all of this most of the defaults are very sensible you can just leave it on the default and hit next if you're confused about anything swap space um, not absolutely necessary if you've got a lot of RAM but I'll hit yes just so you can see what it's like. I'll leave it at 512 megabytes. Okay. The UID. No, I don't need that. Okay. Here's where I would uh, hit the arrow key to get to the right changes. And once you click that, it will start formatting. Enter. It's partitioning, creating swap space, the boot partition. file system and it's mounting it. Now here you have a choice of uh, uh, I don't know how to say this but anyways you'd want to get the developer package if you want to have access to the AUR. You'll need a lot of the utilities that are included with it so just select that and enter for your shell. Bash is the default. Good. Uh, bootloader will use grub, yes, enter. Network manager, yes. 64-bit, do I want the 32-bit software? Yes. DHCP at boot, yes, enter. 
uh, wireless if you are on a laptop or something that you need Wi-Fi you'd go yes here but in VirtualBox I don't need it so I'll go no DSL collection connections no OS Prober if you have more than one operating system if you're dual booting you'll go yes here but since this is going to be the only operating system on this uh, virtual box I'll also go to no and hit enter install a desktop or window manager yes and here you have all the choices of the different desktops you can get XFCE which is customized by Arch Anywhere Openbox which is also customized by them Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Gnome uh, you get the idea there's quite a few here that you can choose from since I want to keep this fairly lightweight I'll just go to LXDE spacebar to select and then hit the enter key GTK3 version experimental yes uh, virtual box yes if you have a laptop you need a touchpad you go to yes here but VirtualBox on my desktop I don't need it uh, login manager yes light DM is a sensible choice it's probably the most popular one so I'll just go enter there additional software yes now here I would go to the arch anywhere repository and select that do I want to add this repository to my pacman.conf yes I do okay here's where you get to make the different choices that uh, they have which makes it a lot easier you want to select your yaourt which is uh, um, access to the AUR and this is going to be a GUI PAMAC AUR it's going to be a front-end to Pac-Man uh, graphical user interface which with access to the AUR so you select those two and go enter for OK now it's asking us to confirm that we want to add this I'll say yes then you can go through all the different things that they have on offer here oh, yes I don't need anything audio games graphics it's all stuff that you can also install later on once it's installed so I'll just uh, Go no to all of these. Hang on, was there something here I wanted? Well, there's a few useful utilities, but nothing that I can't uh, I can't get later. We'll add those. Okay, I'll just go to done. You can go through all of these and install uh, a lot of the stuff that you want: office suites, multimedia, etc. But once it's installed, uh, like I said, with through through Pac-Man or PaMac, you can uh, easily install all the software you want. So I'll just go enter here, and here it's giving me an uh, idea of what it's going to fetch and install. I'll say yes and enter, and it goes through the install process. Now it should, it's probably going to take a little bit longer than if you had everything off your CD because it's downloading from the internet and installing. So I'll pause this here now and once we get closer to the end I'll restart again. And we're back. That took about 5 to 10 minutes, not that long. Okay, now it's asking us for a uh, host name. I'll leave it as Arch Anywhere. That's good. Root Password enter in a password hit enter do it again to make sure I didn't screw up uh, okay password set here I'm going to click on uh, add a new user and I call him Archie enter and set a password for the user password again okay do I want to give him pseudo privileges yes I do so I'll hit enter here and arrow key over to done done and you reboot the system and boot into your new Arch Linux
Okay, and here we are at the uh, Grub Boot screen. I'll select Arch Linux, enter. Booting up. And there's the login screen. Enter my password. And there you go. Boot it into your brand new Arch Linux running LXDE. And remove software will take us to the POMAC. Now here if you want to have access to the AUR, you go into your preferences, enter your password, click on the AUR and support for AUR, search by default and check for updates from the AUR. If you want to be on the bleeding edge, this is the way to do it. There you go. Now you can search for anything you want. You also have your updates here. It'll be down here. It'll be red when uh, you have updates available. My system is up to date since I just installed everything fresh from the repos. But anything you want to search for is going to be here. LibreOffice, go to the AUR to get anything which is newer. or click on repositories. See I want to install it and just click there, apply. These are all the dependencies, so I'll commit. And now it's downloading it and installing it. So this makes Arch Linux very easy and simple to install. Um, you can choose the desktop you want. I just did the LXDE because it was lighter, smaller, and faster. A um, bunch of customizations you can make afterwards. You can download anything you want straight from the AUR by using POMAC. You can look through groups, uh, Firefox add-ons, uh, different things here. But anyways, there's, there's a bunch of options. This makes Arch Linux, like I said, very simple and easy to use. So I'll leave it there. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel to encourage me to keep on going and making more of these uh, reviews and overviews and install videos. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.